Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dead Daft Scrum One, also known as Sean. Gonna be doing something a little bit different today. I usually put up gaming videos, but today I decided to show you all something that I have been getting into recently, and it is Magic the Gathering. Now, for those of you who already know what Magic the Gathering is, then you know what crazy world I live in. But for those of you who don't know what Magic the Gathering is, it's essentially a card game, um, kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, I guess. I don't know which one. Um, but you basically, it's, it's essentially a card game. Um, you have mana, you have creatures, you have spells that you can cast, and etc. And today, I have for you two things from the latest Magic the Gathering set. Hour of Devastation. So on the right here, we have an Hour of Devastation 15 card booster pack. And then behind it, the daddy of all things that you can buy from Magic, besides a booster box, is a Magic the Gathering Hour of Devastation fat pack that comes with 10 boosters. Isn't that exciting? So I'm going to open up this guy here first, the booster pack, just to kind of show you, pardon the, the target bag back there. I'm just going to kind of show you all the anatomy of a booster pack, just so that way when I delve into them, you can kind of see what's what's what. So we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. Now normally they start off with um, they start for the commons first, down by the set symbol back here. Black usually means it's common, silver is usually uh, uncommon, and then for um, rares and mythic rares, you have either gold or orange. So, <clears throat> just to show you the anatomy of a magic card here, just in case you've never seen one. Uh, aerial Guide. Two generic mana up here, and then the one blue. So two of any color and one blue. It's a flying whenever Aerial Guide attacks. Another target attacking creature gains flying until end of turn. Isn't that special? We have Dutiful Servants, which is another common. Frontline Devastator. Lurching Rot Beast. Ooh. Frilled Sand Walla. Come on. Lethal Snake. <clears throat> Strategic Planning. Oh, and a land, the Desert of the Mindful. Gift of Strength. All right, now we're into the uncommons here. So we have this guy here, or girl, I should say, uh, Hope Tender. Then we have Tenacious Hunter. Ramunap Ruins, and then the one behind here should be the rare. Ugh! I hate these damn cards. Ugh, these are so stupid. Leave to chance. So you first you cast the leave part, and then you cast the aftermath part on the side there. Discard any number of cards and draw that many cards. Ugh, disgusting. <coughs> a foil cat. Adorned pouncer. This is a rare... A foil kitty cat. Ain't that special. That's going uh that's going into foil binder. It is it is warm. It it is warm in here, my dudes. If you, you don't live in Illinois, it's a it's a scorcher. I'm gonna try turning on the fan. Turn on please. Thank you. So that way. Ugh. And then you usually get a uh, full art and then you get a token, which this one is Sun Scrouge Champion. Ain't that special? Oh yes. Street relief. Alright. So now we got that harsh out of the way. Let's have a look at the again of this foil here. Double strike and eternalize. It's a one and a white for a one one. Exile this card from your graveyard, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a four four black zambi Kate with no mana cost. Internalized only as a sorcery. That's special. That's special. All right. Time for Mr. Big Boy here. I'm going to go ahead and get him open. Now, the fat packs are a little bit different than your regular uh, booster packs. They come with some, some extra goodies. That, uh, come with some extra goodies. What you normally don't get with booster packs. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and slide this bad boy out. There's the box there. And there's just, just a little tarsh box that we don't need. And now, on the inside, 
they give you this neat little booklet here. Hour of Devastation Player's Guide. Which, if you go through it and kind of look at, you know, the top cards. Which, for this one, let me see here. Uh, Nicol Bolas, God, Pharaoh, Planeswalker, Hour of Devastation, Summit, Razaketh, the Scarab God. And then over here we have Adjourned Pouncer, Bantu's Last Reckoning, Shefet Dunes, Ramon Up Excavator, and Supreme Will. And then if you kind of like go through this, you get a bunch of different cards that you can obtain. And then the little sleeve that it comes with, if you undo it very carefully, oh, ain't this a bitch. Before, all the artwork used to be side to side, it used to go this way. Now they've done goofed and they've put it up and down. So you can't see it. Let me move it up so you can see it. Beautiful. That's Nickel Bolas. Nickel Bolas. The, all, the almighty Dargan. So now we're going to get into the meat. The meat and bones. We've got our stupid pack of lands that you can throw away. Uh, tokens, which sometimes we have. And all these booster packs here. Fat stack. And then you get a little neat little die here. Which the Hour Devastation die is really pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna be opening up all these boosters because apparently that's a thing that everyone does on YouTube now. And then we'll uh Let's uh, let's see what we get. Pardon for the off-center recording on iPad. Not the best thing you could possibly do. Uh, Proven Combatant, Hummy Paramount, Frontline Devastator, Lurching Rot Beast, Ride Sanwala, Torment of Venom, Gilded Ceridan, Feral Prowler, Desert of the Indomitable, Graven Abomination, Accursed Horde. Magmaroth in our rare. No, that's not our rare. Is that our rare? No. And then our rare. That's an uncommon. My bad. Wildfire Eternal! Oh boy! Effect 4. Whenever Wildfire Eternal attacks and isn't blocked, can be cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. Oh boy! Oh, and then they give away these stupid little things that you punch out and you go, that, that stupid shite. And basic land throw that in the trash but wildfire return that is our third rare actually because we have our our shiny cat and then we have uh, our leave to chance card so that's three rares total so far Ugh. dumb get in there Okay, Sandblast, Firebrand Archer, Avon Reed Stalker, Sidewinder Naga, Lethal Sting, again, Crash Through, Ooh, a Mana Tower, Manolith, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, that's kind of useful, Unsummon, Desert of the Glorified, Scrounger of Souls, Ooh, buddy, Supreme Will. That was one of the cards that I just mentioned that was like the top 10 cards. I'm going to have to look this up real quick to find out how much Supreme Will is worth. Because if you didn't know, Magic the Gathering cards are kind of expensive. They are kind of expensive and they can be worth some money. Supreme Will. <laughs> That's a dollar thirty-four, my friend. That's a dollar bill, Brando! Jesus Christ, look at the foil mount. 965. If it was a, uh... If it was a foil, which it isn't, but whatever. So we have, uh, Supreme Will. Ooh, Liliana's Defeat. And then... Sand Strangler, and then our rare... Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Unesh. 
Cryo Sphinx Sovereign. He's a mythic rare. Sphinx spells you cost you cast cost two less. Whenever Unish Cryo Sphinx Sovereign or another Sphinx enters the battlefield under your control, reveal the top four cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles, but one pile into your hand, the other into your graveyard. And a full art forest, and we have a resilient Kenra in the back there. Well, Unish. Unish. How much are you worth, Unish? Oh, Unish. I'm going to leave that card there while I look it up real quick. Oh, Unish. Sometimes you get shit mythic rares. Oh, like this one. This one's a 93 cent mythic rare. Isn't that grand? However, because of the title he has of Legendary Creature, he could be a commander, which, if you're not familiar with commander, it's a 100 card deck, essentially, but um, I'll get more into that in possibly a different video when I show off my commander deck. Isn't that grand? But Unish! Maybe I can build a commander deck around Sphinxes. Who knows? He'll go over to the pile. Next one. I'm looking for an invocation. And when I pull an invocation, you'll know it because I'll scream very loud like a little girl. Tragic lesson, lesson, lashin, shand blast, kindled fury, bitter bow sharpshooters, torment of venom, thorned moloch without weakness. Strategic Planning, Desert of the Mindful, Gift of Strength, Ooh, Crypt of the Eternals, I actually have this in my Commander deck, um, like I said, which I'll get into in a different time, but um, it's spicy. Ramunap Ruins, Bane Whip Punisher, and then our rare, Imminent Doom, and we got a kitty cat token with lifelink. Imminent Doom, it's enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, with a doom, it enters the battlefield with a doom counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost equal to the number of doom counters on Eminent Doom, Eminent Doom deals that much damage to target creature or player. And then put a doom counter on Eminent Doom. There's a lot of instances of Eminent Doom. Let's see how much this guy is worth. All oh, thirty-five cents. Oh boy, I broke the bank with him. Oh boy! <laughs> All these common and uncommon cards and throw over here. If I actually don't open a, uh, at least a card that I want or an invocation, I'm actually going to be kind of peeved. Dutiful Servants, Frontline Devastator, Unquenchable Thirst, Ronus' Stalwart, Grizzly Survivor, Without weakness. Try holding it a different way, maybe. Cutting survivor. Travers a tra Traveler's Amulet. Survivor's Encampment. Gift of Strength again. Manticore Eternal. Steward of Solidarity. Dagger of the Worthy, and it should be our rare. Amit Eternal. We have a basic mountain and a warrior token. Oh boy. Amit Eternal, Afflict 3. It's a zombie crocodile demon, okay. Have a look at Mr. Crocodile Demon there. Oh boy. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a minus one, minus one counter on Amit Eternal. Whenever an Amit Eternal deals combat damage to a player, move all minus one, minus one counters from it. I mean, 3, 4, 5, 5, but Afflict and all that, I guess that's, I guess that's okay. I wouldn't put it into a commander deck. Or any deck. Because I don't really like some of the, uh, the mechanics that they had for the Hour of Devastation slash Ammon Cap block. Oh, look. Unquenchable Thirst again. Dutiful Servants. Kenra Scrapper. Ooh, a wretched camel. I always like these camel cards because I just think it's funny how you can have a camel as a creature. Harrier Naga, Scrounger of Souls, Defiant Kenra, Zero's Renekinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikinikin
River Hoo uh, River Hoopo. The River Hoopo. Hope Tender. Consigned to consigned to oblivion and the rare. Ugh. Driven to despair. I'm gonna fill up Martin Martin and trash like that. Driven to despair until end of turn creatures you control gain trample whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player. Draw a card and then the aftermath. Until end of turn creatures you control gain menace and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player that player discards a card. Ugh. Friggin' ugh. Ugh. I hate those kinds of cards. We got a uh, four packs left. This is our fifth one. Have not opened anything exciting, unfortunately. I'm hoping I can open something for you all. Here for my first time, opening up Magic the Gathering packs. Because I think that would be something special. Beautiful Servants, Frontline Devastator, Unquenchable Thirst, Kenra Eternal, The Hippo, Survivor's Encampment, The Zero's Communication, Thorn the Bullock, Unsummon, Gift of Strength, Impu, a rivulet, eternal of harsh truths, claim to fame, and our rare, Hazaret's undying fury. Oh boy. And we get a planes and a zombie token. No oh joy. Hazaret's undying fury. Shelf your library, and then exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of non land cards or convert a mana cost five or less from among them without paying their mana costs. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. It's actually not a bad card for the amount that it costs. Not a bad card. Not a bad... Not a bad card at all. Stupid uncommons out of the way. I need to get a better camera angle. Because this, this, ain't, this ain't working too well. But, uh, you know, first time. Proven Combatant. Mummy Paramount. Frontline Devastator, Lurching Rot Beast, Frilled Sandwalla, Scrounger of Souls, Without Weakness, Defiant Kenra, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs, Cunning Survivor, Ugh, Farm to, farm to Market, Ugh, Claim to Fame, Overcome, and then our rare is going to be a uh, blue, Nimble Obstructionist, The Bird Wizard, with Flash and Flying and Cycling 2, Discard this card and draw a card. When, when you cycle Nimble Obstructionist, counter target activated or triggered ability you don't control. Ooh, Billy Goody. Locust God Insect Token, which is the which is the card I'm looking for. So, Nimble Obstructionist is our rare from that one. Oh, these cards are garbage. Two more packs left after this one. Oh, look, a Kermel right on top. Solitary Kermel. Open Fire, Tragic Lesson, Gratchet Camel, Ronas' Stalwart, Scrounger of Souls, Defiant Kenra, Gijiru's Unicunication, Cutting Survivor, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs once more, Farm to Market, Quarry Beetle, Sun Scratch Champion, and our rare is ugh, Adorned Pouncer, with a cap token. You know... Sometimes you have days where you get the same rare in the same fat pack. But the problem is, one's a foil and the other one isn't. Sometimes you just have those days where you get shit. Where you just get shit all over. And your mom comes in on you. And she goes, which one of you didn't learn to flush the shit down the toilet? And you go, it wasn't me. And she goes, it was fuck you, one of yours. Disgusting. What do we have? Countervailing Winds. Sand Blast. Kindled Fury. Marauding Bone Slasher. Beneath the Sands. Travers and Traveler's Amulet. Survivor's Encampment. Gift of Strength. Crash Through. Oketra's Avenger. Oh, there's Gideon's Defeat. Sinuous Striker, Sinuous, Sinuous Striker, my bad, can't English, Riddle Forum and our rare, Resilient Kendra, the Jackal Wizard. Well, I mean, 
When resilient Kenra enters the battlefield, you may have target creature get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is resilient Kenra's power. You can have ten or lives where you exile this card from graveyard and create a token that's a copy of it. Except it's a 4-4 black zombie jackal wizard with no mana cost. Eternalize only as a sorcery. Well, I mean... You just have days where you buy you buy an entire fat pack. And where in the past, you've had luck with fat packs before. Like when you open a Kaladesh one, you get the Chandra, you get the Chandra Planeswalker. But you don't open any masterpieces, but hey, you know still a good deal and then there are times where you just open up you know an hour of devastation and you get two you get two rare cats haven of enduring hope a blur of blades aerial guide ronos is stalwart lethal sting oasis ritualist steadfast sensual feral prowler it's cat just cat after cat desert of the true gilded curlden cyrodin sinuous Sinuous Striker, yeah. Torment of Scarabs. Infernal Jet and our rare Fraying Sanity. Boy, oh boy. Enchant player at the beginning of each end step. Enchanted player puts the X puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard where X is the number of cards put into that graveyard from anywhere this turn. Well I mean the only interesting thing that I got out of all of this was an insect token for the locust god himself. He's in the background there. I guess we can open up the token package just, just to find out what's in here, what they have to offer. Are these double-sided tokens? They are double-sided tokens. These are fun. So we have a zombie on one side and the insect on the other. Ooh, and another insect. Oh, we have a snack. We have a snack. Snack zombie. Sun Scratch champion. Oh, a horse. That's a 5-5 five, five horse. Steadfast Sentinel. You know, I should just really just turn all these over. Champion of Wits. Proven Combatant. Resilient Kenra. Another horse. Ooh, another insect. Which I will take those with great, great power. And then we just have a whole thing of just basic lands that we can just toss in the trash along with it. Well, I mean, I've walked away with four. Four insect tokens for Locust God. Never start building him as a commander. So overall, what did we think? Well, it was shit. I'll tell you that much. It's absolute shit with all these rares. Nothing of absolute value. No, no invocation, which I will actually show you. I'll actually show you right now what an invocation invocation looks like. So if you were to get an invocation, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna show a, uh, show a cool one. Yeah. So this one right here, it's called Spell Pierce. It's a $35 card. Uh, these invocations are foil, and they do have that border. They do look exactly like that. And they have special art on them and everything. But that's pretty much what we were looking for in this set. And unfortunately, we didn't get one. However. I mean, we do we do walk away with two rare cats, one shiny cat and the other non-shiny. Well, that's all I'm gonna do for tonight. Uh, thank you guys for watching very much. Um, I'm gonna be probably doing an overview of my commander deck, uh, probably soon. And uh, if you guys like these Magic the Gathering openings, uh, just. Uh, Drop me a line. Just say, hey, I like them. Just say, hey, I don't like them. Well, I mean, if you don't like it, you don't have to watch them. But hey, something I wanted to try, something I wanted to do. So from me and the one shiny cat and the non-shiny cat, me, from me and the two rare cats, thank you so much for watching. And you folks have a good day, evening, night, etc. See you later.